love about the Filipino people is they've got to be the most friendly people in the world, at least right up there at the top of the list. And they're, they're kind, they're warm, they say hi, hi guys. <laughs> and, uh, and this is this is common among the, the poor people and even, even some of the wealthier people that I deal with. They just kind of have a warmness to them. Ray, I was just saying, I think Filipinos are the friendliest, perhaps, of all Asians. Uh, what do you think on Not that? Not only the friendliest in Asia, but in the world, because they are very accommodating, very warm. They always say hi to you guys, especially, I'm sorry I'm not a racist, especially if you're white. They would say, hey, Joe, give me 1,000 pesos, Joe. <laughs> and a Norwegian friend of mine, like, you know, uh, I remember him, uh, Magna, he said, I will not give you 1,000 pesos because you call me Joe. I'm not American. I'm not an American. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm an American, but yeah, even yeah. I don't like to be called Joe. Yeah. So. <laughs> the Filipinos, they know how to sing. I mean, some of these bands, some of these singers have amazing talent, amazing voices, and they are fun to listen to. And so... Coming to the Philippines, get on your best 80s music. This is the National Mall. So this is the equivalent of, think of the National Mall in Washington, D.C. But interesting thing, big controversy right here is this building you see right back here. It's called the Photobomb Building. And uh, it was developed and it's been a national controversy because as you can see, you're here getting a picture next to the monuments on the National Mall and there's this condominium complex. The Philippines are a very religious people. They're Christian. In fact, this is the Holy Week and I'm right next to this church. There's a ton of people inside and they are worshiping. And that's unusual for most Asian countries are either Buddhist or China's very secular. I think Philippines is really the only Christian majority country in all of Asia. And they are very much practicing Christians, Catholics. They speak a language here called Toglish, which is half Tagalog and half English. They like go back and forth. And listening to this guy, this preacher, I understand a lot of it. And then there's stuff that I don't understand. It's Toglish. And uh, it's, it's kind of fascinating. Even when you go to the ATM and they ask you what language you want, it says English or Toglish. So, kind of cool. This is this might be the last chance. You know, I was invited to give a talk in a parish in Paranyaque City. We have a seminary sans for the Mary the Spanish influence on the Philippines is amazing. In fact, many people you meet will have Spanish names. You know, Ronaldo, Eduardo, Maria. And in fact, the Philippines itself is named after King Philip of Spain. And so it's kind of neat to see that Spanish influence. I read somewhere that 30% of Filipinos will actually have ancestry from 
their Spanish forefathers. What about first names? You, he, you even oh, a lot, a lot, a lot. lot of Spanish first names. A lot, you know, like Rinaldo, me, myself, Eduardo, my brother, Ronaldo, my another brother. Yes. And you have P uh, Pedro, you know, Juan. <laughs> Those are famous names. Right? Yes. Like, uh, names that you would normally you would hear in Central America, yes. Latin America, exactly. the uh, same as here. Yes, right? exactly. And, that's, uh, that's correct. That's correct. And a lot of them Christian names too. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like like Jesus. There's even a name Jesus. The funny thing is nobody wants to have a name of Judas, you know? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> they always want to use Jesus because it's a famous name. You know, we know who he is. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> right. Okay, one thing I love about the Philippines is they love basketball. They are big basketball fans and they will talk NBA with you. They know all the stars, LeBron James, Steph Curry, and you see right behind me here in this market, and you've got all sorts of jerseys for sale. And so I love it that the Filipino people love basketball. So what's not to like about the Philippines? Well. Almost everybody agrees, and I concur. The thing that I don't like about the Philippines is the traffic. It is a huge traffic mess. In fact, that's a common problem in Southeast Asia. I think the worst cities in the world for traffic are Jakarta, Bangkok, and Manila. And quite frankly, Manila might be the worst of all. You're gonna be stuck between jeepneys and buses and tuk-tuks, and you're just gonna have to wait it out. That said, don't let that stop you from visiting the Philippines. It's such a wonderful place for so many reasons, and I can't wait till I return again.